What is going on Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Team What If Battle where today we're going to be doing Team Super Saiyan 4 Goku versus Team Hit. Alright, so without wasting any time, let's select none other than Mr. Goku. Alright, so random character number one, random character number two, three, and the random character number four. Alright, so we have one of Cooler's henchmen, we have Cell Jr., we have Garlic Jr., and of course we have Beerus. Holy shit. Alright, so Beerus is on our team. Let's go ahead and select Hit. Now, after reviewing my previous episodes, guys, it seems as if a lot of you guys seem to believe, um, and a lot of you guys got into heated ass arguments in the comment section about GT versus Super and stuff like that. Uh, oh, this is gonna be. I think he has Vegito. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Uh, and so I do want to address that in this video and talk more of that. Now, Super Saiyan 4 in Dragon Ball GT is a very powerful transformation considering the fact that base form Goku in GT was supposed to be as strong as Super Saiyan 3 Goku in Dragon Ball Z. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that by now. So with the, uh, with the difference in time and the difference in power scaling from GT to Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball Super, I think we can all agree at this point that yes, maybe Super Saiyan 4 just might exceed the powers of Super Saiyan Blue, considering the fact that, like, towards the end of Dragon Ball Super, we have to wait and see how they're going to end it off. Um, if they're going to be ending it off with uh, Goku and Oob and stuff like that, or maybe that was, maybe something different. Uh, holy shit. But I think, I, I think that Super Saiyan 4 Goku, considering how strong he actually is, would give someone like Hit a very good fight. Now, is it, well, I mean, would it be better than Super Saiyan Blue Goku, like, you know, against Hit during the tournament? Um, not entirely too sure, but I do believe that Super Saiyan 4 Goku versus Hit would be so awesome because I, I don't know what it is about Super Saiyan 4, I just love the overall, like, um, the design for Super Saiyan 4, like, he's so muscular and, like, he just, his, his voice is all deep and whatnot, um, and so I, I really regret, like, them not having, you know, more or less of like a unique design for Super Saiyans in uh, Dragon Ball Super. So, um, having to think about this battle, this was a subscriber request to battle. Someone wanted to see Team Super Saiyan 4 versus Team Hit. So, with random characters involved. Oh shit. Oh my god. Hit is giving me the hands. Oh my god. Goku no survive. Survive. Alright. I'm surviving this shit against fucking Hit the. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Super Saiyan 4 went down. Super Saiyan 4 is down. Oh god, come on, Garlic Jr., get the job done. Get the job. Oh crap, Garlic Jr. is gonna fucking die. Oh god, transform, transform, transform. There we go. Roids, steroids. Alright, uh, it's time for me to beat the shit out of Hit. Alright, so considering the fact that Hit was able to beat Super Saiyan 4 Goku, does that mean that his time loop ability has increased? I think so. Oh my god. Alright, Hit is destroying everybody right now. Oh, this is totally not good. Oh yeah, I, I, I do have Beerus on my team. Oh, Hit. Hit is giving me these hands right now. Like, you know, I really wish that I had the black Goku mod in this game, in which in which case I think would be tremendously awesome. But uh, needless to say right now, I want to see if I can just go ahead and just destroy this dude because he's giving me such a hard-ass time, man. Come on, Garlic Jr. Even though you're fucking pathetically weak right now, you have to do something, Brody. You're, 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 you're fucking covered in roids. Oh, God, swap out. Why is it lagging? Why is it lagging? Why is it lagging? And enter the God of Destruction. Look at that! Look at the amount of damage Beerus just did. Now, I was reading in my previous videos that, like, well, one person actually said that Hit would never be able to contest with Beerus. Um, and he made some valid points. However, there were certain people in the comment section talking about how Hit would be able to rival Beerus if, if Beerus was able to give him some time to, uh, oh, shit, uh, to, uh, improve and stuff. So if Hit improved... A couple of you guys suggested that he might be, you know, as strong as Beerus, if not stronger, just considering the fact that he can actually improve during the course of battle. So, Beerus is fucking people up right now. Ooh, ooh, get him! That's right, come on, evil demon king Piccolo. What the hell's going on here? Everything's lagging. This, this battle is so intense, man. You know, sometimes Dragon Ball contradicts itself. You guys can't deny that. Dragon Ball has always had uh, a difficult, you know, a, a difficult way of, like, expressing itself due to, like, it contradicting its story a lot. Uh, sometimes Dragon Ball Super contradicts its power level scaling, it contradicts the story it's telling, it contradicts, you know, the god scaling and the tears and stuff, because we have the uh, Dai Shinkan, we have the Hakaioshins, the Kaioshins, we have the Ami King, so it's just like, oh my god, man, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes Dragon Ball just, like, co completely contradicts itself, but it is what it is for the time being, and as a fan, of course, I would love to see more Dragon Ball Super. I mean, I, of course, even with that being said, I spoke about previously how I would love to see how Dragon Ball would carry itself after the events of GT, in which case I've done several manga reviews on it, I've done several videos on the fact um, that there were certain people that created like their own fan-made versions of what would happen after the course of GT and stuff like that. Oh my god, Gudo. Do you, are you serious right now? Watch this, bitch. I'm about to end your life. I'm about to end this whole planet. Fuck everything. Goodbye. Ooh, there goes the Earth. 
I, I, there goes the entire earth, man. The power, the power of the Hakaioshin. All right, Cell Jr.'s up, bitch. Cell Jr. is up. Oh, come on, there we go. You know, I, I really do miss Cell so much. Like, like after going back and watching some of the Cell fights, he was he was such a narcissistic asshole. He like, he was a dick. But then again, like he was he was very brilliant in what he did. He had all the genetic cells of every single fighter. Uh, arguably enough, even Trunks maybe. But then again, I don't really think he did have Trunks's DNA inside of him. Because if that's the case, he would have known about the uh, burning attack. He would have done something related to Trunks. Uh, but Cell was such a badass, man. You get what I'm saying? So like, I, I really do miss that character so much. I, I I miss a lot of the older villains. In which case, I do believe that. We will never ever see Cell return ever again, which kind of sucks because I've seen several, uh, you know, fan-made uh, Facebook posts and fan-made Twitter accounts and even fan-made stories of people wishing that Cell came back and they have like they have like their own resurrection of Cell kind of thing going on, which is pretty cool in a way. You can't really knock fan-made stuff either. Um, I, I hate when people criticize fan-made material. I mean, you have to consider the fact that it is fan-made material, but you can't really like just. You know, uh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, come on, oh, I fucking lost, shit, shit, I'm never gonna be able to use my fucking attack, oh, come on, Cell Jr., oh, shit, come on, oh, crap, I was just about to do it too, alright, so I'm gonna have to finish this dude off ASAP, oh god, Super Command Man, it's done, goodbye, Yajirobe, how is he alive, how the hell is Yajirobe alive, Cell Jr., oh, this, this dude should've fucking destroyed him easily, special beam cannon, alright, he's gone, all right, so who is up next? Oh, look, it's Jace. It's Jace. I'm gonna swap out with uh, I believe this guy's name is uh, Salzer or something like that. I, f I forgot his name. All right, so he's the last one on the squad. All right, so I remember this dude punched Goku in the face. Who like who can ever forget that? Like he literally told uh, Goku, he was like, "This is cool. This is uh, Freeze's brother, you idiot. This is Lord Cooler." I was like, oh man, you obviously don't know who the hell you're talking to, bro. And he punched Goku right in the face. I'm not entirely sure if he died. I'm pretty sure he did. Um, I don't really remember, but this dude had balls, bro. He had balls to look at Goku and be like, this is Freeza's brother, you imbecile, wake up. I was like, alright, Cooler seems like a badass, bro, but Cooler doesn't seem like... Cooler doesn't seem like he would do any fucking damage. I mean, even though he did... Oh, the Hakaioshin. Hakaioshin Birusama. Beerus versus Jace. I miss Cooler, but I, oh, you know what, I, I, I really wish, like, I really wish, like, the fan in me would have had it to where Beerus did more work, you get what I'm saying, like, Beerus was featured more in Dragon Ball Super than what's already, like, already presented, presented you get what I'm saying, so, like, I don't know, like, I, I just want to see Beerus fight more, and introducing a character like this, like, it kind of sucks knowing the fact that we've never really got to see him do any sort of, like, role playing to where he was involved in being a hero, or maybe even perhaps, you know, getting in the way of fighting Goku again and stuff like that. I mean, it all depends on when you're watching this video, but again, um, it just seems a little weird to me that they're gonna introduce such a character. I right, future Gohan 18 Supreme Kake. Okay. So let's see, team hit one, two, three, and four. Oh damn, this dude has a good ass team. Holy shit. Um but yeah, I mean Beerus and Champa, especially Champa, like I really wanted to see like what he can do. At least for Beerus, we know what he can do somewhat after watching Super's Battle of Gods version in the Battle of Gods movie. So at least we have somewhat of an understanding as to what that character can do. But it kind of sucks knowing the fact that Toriyama introduced Champa and all these characters. And okay. some people are gonna say, "Oh my God, if you if if you if you've never followed Dragon Ball, then you don't know Toriyama's work because Toriyama tends to introduce characters and make them not do shit." Yeah, given the circumstance, that may be, that may be the case sometimes. Times, but I mean Jesus Christ why would you introduce so many of these awesome ass characters like uh, the Dai Shinkan and Beerus and Shampa like Beerus was the only one that literally did any sort of work at all I mean you had Whis train with everyone which was all right um, and I really wanted to see Whis go all out like I think we all want to see Whis go all out completely against somebody uh, and it sucks the fact that knowing that you can't really see that happening. Um, but, you know, I, I, I just appreciate Dragon Ball Super for what it's been doing right now thus far. So, oh shit. Dragon Fist. Come on, Goku. Come on. Oh shit, bro. Come on, dude. Unleash. Unleash the Kamehame. Ooh. Alright, he survived. Fuck. Alright, this, this, this hit's gonna be a problem. Yo, hit just keeps countering everything, dude. This guy just keeps taking all of my attacks like it's nothing. I'm gonna have to fuck homeboy up right now. Get ahead, hit. Come on. Keep powering up all you want, Busta. You can keep powering up all you want. There we go. Am I using my Dragon Fist? Come on, come on. Come on, unleash a Dragon Fist! 
Oh, that that would be that, that would be amazing. I saw Master Media's uh, part nine Saitama versus Goku thing, and after watching the White God get involved, like for the first time, like the White Dragon Fist, that was really really cool. I was just like, man. Can you imagine how awesome that would be? Even though, like, I really doubt they'll ever introduce Super Dragon Fist within Dragon Ball, it would be pretty dope if they did. Or the Genki Gama, aka the Spirit Bomb, because, you know, some people like to call it the Genki Dama, some people want to call it the Spirit Bomb. I would love to see the Spirit Bomb in use again. We haven't seen that shit in, like, years, so that'd be pretty cool if you ask me. So, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is fighting a definitely improved hit. This dude is taking shots after shot after shot, but, um, let's see if I can just give this dude a, a fabulous Christmas. Oh, shit. Come on, Goku, don't, don't fucking fail me now. Oh, shit, don't fail me now. Oh, this is gonna be a battle of the best. Oh, shit, he got me. Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm alive. Oh, my God, I just caught him with the... I, I just caught this dude with the most perfect combo in the world. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, that, that's game, set, match, man. Oh, that was fucking awesome. All right, now we have... We have nail. All right, nail. Time for you to go. Oh shit. Oh no no no. Bad nail. Bad nail. Come on. Ooh, bad nail. Bad nail. Oh shit. No no no. No no no. Please, please, please. So as long as I saw. Oh damn it. I missed. So as long as I can survive this, it should be fine. Instant transmission, and that's awesome. I love the instant transmission, man. Goku has like some OP ass moves here. But again, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more daily content. Uh, oh god. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe as well, guys. If you guys enjoyed, also don't forget to leave a like on the video. That really does help me out a lot, and it, and it actually shows me if you guys want to see more Dragon Ball content from me. Uh, oh my god, this was not the character that I wanted to select. Holy shit, come on, Mr. Tao. Come on, Tao. Come on, Tao. Do some work, Mr. Tao. Let's see if I can get the job done. Come on, Mr. General Tao. Oh shit, nails back up. Oh, no, 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 not, not, not the fucking super explosive wave. Am I alive? I'm barely alive. All right, uh, the original. Come on. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I, I'm gonna have to switch out. I'm gonna have, I, 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 I can't beat Nail playing his fucking Tao. Oh, God, who am I gonna swap out with? Uh, oh, shit. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna swap out with... Oh, is that Vegito? I think it is Vegito. Oh, no. Swap out. Oh, and we are... Go. Oh, we're good to go. That's it. Big Bang Com... Oh, it, it's done. Nail's about to die. Nail just literally just took one attack from, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Oh, it's, it's done. This character would be so OP, man. Oh, shit. Vegito versus Vegito. Hello, Vegito. I am the more OP'd version of you. But even though even though I am the most OP'd version of you, still considering the fact that the Omni King is higher in strength, kind of like, uh, it, it, it demotivates you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Not in my face. You're not getting... Oh, hell no. Fuck out of my face, Vegito. Fuck out of my face. You're supposed to be the strongest fusion, right? Well, I got you beat, bitch. I got you beat. I want to see the Dai Shinkan fight. I want to see. I want to see the Dai Shinkan fight someone like Vegito. That'd be sick as fuck if you ask me. Oh shit! Where's your burning sword attack, you little slut? Oh shit! Oh no no no! Crap! I should have avoided that. Oh boy! You want to see my version of that? I, I have a godly final command man wave. It's done. Damn! Vegito is just that OP'd, man. He's just that OP'd. And we have Boo. All right, Boo. Time for me to level this entire planet. You can go on ahead and uh, hit me all you want, bro. As soon as I reach my max, oh yeah, you're you're finished, dude. You're finished. Oh, you're finished. Come on, Vegito. Can you imagine if like somehow Kid Boo was able to absorb this kind of a, a person? That would be so scary. That would be so scary because Boo would be so powerful. Boo would have like Vegito's awesome ass clothing. He would also have his Potara earrings. Possibly blue skin since he's you know since he's Super Saiyan Blue God Key and stuff like that. So, but once again, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Big Bang Attack. It's done for Boo, and I believe there's one more. Yes, it is. Oh look, it's the Redneck. It's done, bro. Big Bang's up your ass, man. I I'm gonna go ahead and swap with Gohan. All right, so we have Future Gohan, Super Saiyan. Bam. All right, Super Saiyan Future Gohan. Let's go ahead and save the future, guys. Fuck out of my face. Fuck out of my face. Oh shit. Evil barrier. Wait, what do you mean evil barrier? I I, I didn't know I was evil, man. I, I you know like what's crazy is the fact that you know future Gohan was more of a badass than you know current Gohan. I I, I, I kind of get why too because oh shit. I kind of get why too because like his mom was dead in the future and stuff, so like he didn't really have anybody to like guide him. So oh, it's done for this fool. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Like I, I think this would have been a, a really awesome ass fight to see. I hope he transforms. Transform you little bitch. Transform into your giant roided up mode. I want to see what you can really do. Oh crap! What the hell's he doing? Oh shit! He caught me. He caught me. Ow! Don't stop throwing me around, bro. This is not cool. Ow! Shit! Wait until I reach my mat. Oh my god! You're screwed. 
Oh god. Oh shit, he's doing it again. What the hell? Alright, he's trying to he's trying to spam me right now, little slut. He kicks me right in the face, bro. You can kick me in the face all you want. It's over right now. Watch this. Oh, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Come on, there we go. Hopefully enough we can finish this fight off. Super Saiyan Future Gohan versus Super Android 13. Who you guys think would win? That would have been dope as hell. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The one-armed command mail wave. That should be it for him. Oh, he's alive. How the hell is he alive? Oh, there we go. He's dead now. Holy shit. Thank you guys for watching once again. I truly hope you guys enjoyed. Tune in for more, and I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.